you guys. So for the first time, for me performing for you, I'm going to invite Chip on stage to join me for one final routine here. Give him a big round of applause. Come join me. Thank you so much. Now, we haven't set anything up right now. All you knew is that you were going to help me out, but that's it, correct? Yep. Perfect. It. Now, if you would, uh, they chose the, the four of hearts, so in a little bit of a continuation of that, if you would pick that up for me, and that is the uh, blue one, yes? Can I? Can you lick it? Yeah. I'll tell you what, we're going to do something else well, to I, I, make I, I, it your own. Um, we're going to render the four of hearts unchangeable. So even though it is not only the only four of hearts in the deck, but the only four of hearts that's ripped off. So that's the four of hearts that's ripped off. Now, we're going to actually try and make this card disappear. So if you would put your other hand out, I'm going to give you the corner as a little uh, receipt almost for the four of hearts. And we're going to take the four of hearts and put it into the middle of the deck, OK? So I want you to take that face down, put it into the center of the deck for me, anywhere you like. Right there is perfect. Very good. The four of hearts into the center of the deck. Now, if you want to take that, uh, that corner, just put it into your pocket real quick. We'll get that back in just a moment. Four of hearts in your pocket. Good. <laughs> now, <laughs> take your hand, put it out just like this. I'm going to give you the deck. Take your other hand, put it on top. See, the second we give it a little snap like that, that's where the magic happens. And I know it doesn't feel like much, but take your hand off just like this. Very good. Here's the fascinating part. And you can be the eyes of the audience, and we'll turn around in just a moment. But the four of hearts should literally be gone from the deck. Is that correct? Yeah, I know. It's not in my pocket. <laughs> no, no, not in your pocket. But I'll show the rest of I feel like guys. Julie from GW. Where is she? she? He was doing card tricks with you, and you were like, oh my god, I'm possessed by the devil. Well, maybe we can get everyone like that. Okay, so the four of hearts, not in the deck, but just imagine for a moment, just imagine that the four of hearts is here invisibly, that we can take the four of hearts, fold it, roll it up, and throw it into the audience. Now, before this started, I believe someone in the front row got a, a blue bag. Chip, would you mind just go getting the blue bag real quick? I don't want any, any sleight of hand here. Very good. Go ahead, place the blue bag on the table for me. Open it up. If, if inside the blue bag was your four of hearts with the corner ripped off of it, I think that'd be a good way to end. So go ahead, take that off. Open it up. Show everyone the four of hearts inside the bag. <laughs> the four of hearts to orange trick, ladies and gentlemen. Um, no, I'll tell you what. See, that'd be a cool ending if it just appeared in the bag, but for two of you, I think we have to do a pretty legendary ending. So let's try something amazing. Inside the orange. Holy shit. Wait, no sleight of hand here. Inside the orange with pulp on it is one card with a corner turn off. <gasps> The four of hearts. But you have a corner in your pocket. And corners and tears are like fingerprints. They literally cannot be duplicated. Put that on and make sure that is a perfect match. And everyone give your CEO a big round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Yeah, once he's done, just go up and thank him. And if it is, all you need to know. Thank you.